Hello, I'm Saul David and I'm about to read an extract from my new book, Crucible of Hell. Here goes. Flight Lieutenant Harao Araki's hand shook as he composed the last letter to his wife of just a month. Shigeko, are you well? It is now a month since that day. The happy dream is over. Tomorrow I will dive my plane into an enemy ship. I will cross the river into the other world, taking some Yankees with me. When I look back, I see that I was very cold-hearted to you. After I had been cruel to you, I used to regret it. Please forgive me. When I think of your future and the long life ahead, it tears my heart. Please remain steadfast and live happily. After my death, please take care of my father for me. I, who have lived for the eternal principles of justice, will forever protect this nation from the enemies that surround us. Commander of the Air Unit Eternity, Haru Araki. The letter was written at the Chiran Air Base, Kyushu, on the evening of the 10th of May, 1945. Harao had already penned a note to his father, mentioning that he had flown over the family house at the end of April, circling many times in the hope that his father might see him. But he had not looked up from his work in the fields. Father, wrote Harao, I was unable to catch your attention. Having sealed both letters, Harau handed them to a visiting journalist who had promised to deliver them in person. Earlier the following morning, the journalist had taken some pictures of the airman before he left on his mission. One was with the two group leaders. All three were 21 years old and had graduated from the military academy in the 57th class. Another showed Harau giving the final address to his fellow kamikazes. He was smiling, conscious of the camera. On his forehead, he was wearing a white headband with Japan's rising sun emblem. The students at the girls' school near the base had cut their fingers and filled in the red sun with their own blood. Copies of these photos were later given to Harao's wife. Finally, at 6am, Harao took off in the lead plane, one of 150 aircraft to take part in the 6th mass kamikaze attack against Allied shipping near Okinawa on the 10th and 11th of May. Harao's fate is unknown. It is just possible, however, that his plane was one of the two that struck Vice Admiral Mitchell's flagship, Bunker Hill, on the 11th, causing extensive fires and killing 396 men, including 14 of Mitchell's staff, most to smoke inhalation, and wounding 264, the worst casualties than since the Franklin a month earlier. Though still afloat, the Bunker Hill was out of action for the rest of the war, forcing Mitchell to transfer his flag to Enterprise. Thank you.